Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are here to know about the polygon. What is polygon? And uh, our question is, what is polygon? Polygon is a figure, is a closed figure in which have any number of sides. Let's suppose this is a figure, but this figure is not closed. And if I add another line, this line, that figure is closed. So this is a closed figure. Another closed figure like this, suppose this, this and this. This is another closed figure. Let's suppose there are, this is another closed figure. All of closed figures are called polygons. Next question, how many types of polygon? There are a lot of many polygons, but I know some of them. The smallest polygon, which have only three sides, is called triangle. Let's suppose there are the types of polygons are triangles, quadrilaters, pentagon, hexagon, octagon, and decagon. But these types, they have further more types, but we are studying only these types. We need in our daily life, we require all of these types. Now, the first one type is a triangle. Triangle have further six types. Triangle have further six types. That are the isosceles triangle and equilateral triangle, square triangle, acute, right angle and obtuse triangle. The, the six, there is six types. Why triangle have six type? The question is, First question is this one, what is triangle? Your answer is any figure which have three sides, any closed figure which have three sides is called triangle. The next question, what is quadrilateral? The answer is any closed figure which have four sides is called quadrilateral. Same as what is pentagon? The answer is any closed figure which have five sides is called pentagon same as hexagon octagon and decagon let's suppose what is decagon the answer is any closed figure which have 10 sides is called decagon another question student the question is what is meant by the regular pentagon when we use the regular that's mean it's all sides are equal let's suppose if it, if someone asks us to what is qua regular quadrilater, the answer is a closed figure which have all four sides are equal, same as a triangle which all of the three sides are equal, that is a regular triangle. Okay student, now we are going on the types of triangles and why the triangle have six types. The answer of these are, okay student, that one is the triangle. The triangle, the triangle have the six types, uh, six types, which ones are, because they are, they have six unknowns. They have three sides and three angles. A triangle have six unknown and the six are, three are the sides and three are the angle. So a triangle have six types in which three types according to the angle and three types according to the sides. The question is that, what is isosceles triangle? The answer is a triangle which have two sides are equal. Let's suppose I have a triangle of this kind in which the two sides are equal, but third side are not equal, then this triangle is called isosceles triangle. The second one question is, the what is equilateral? The answer is, the equilateral is a triangle which have all three sides are equal. Equilateral triangle. In other word is regular triangle. Next one is the scalene triangle. A triangle which have no side equal. Let's suppose I have a triangle but any three of the sides are not equal. All of three sides are not equal so this triangle is called scalene triangle. So, according to the sides of a triangle, triangle have three types. The first one is the 
isosceles triangle in which two sides are equal, equilateral triangle in which three sides are equal and scalene triangle in which no side equal. The next is three yards according to their angle. Three types are according to their angle. Which ones are the angles with respect to angle is the first one is let's suppose I have a triangle and in this triangle one angle is 30 degree second angle is suppose one angle is 45 degree another is 70 degree and what is the angle here total angle of interior angle of a triangle is 180 if we end both of them 115 so I need 180 this one is of 5 6 so if we add this one 10 8 and this one it means this angle is 65 degree suppose I have this kind of triangle in which three angles but all of three angle is less than 90 if all of three angle is less than 90 in that case we call that triangle is acute triangle so what is the definition of the acute triangle the answer is any triangle which have every angle is less than 90 degree is called acute triangle the next one is what is right angle the answer is if any triangle which have one angle is 90 degree any one angle is 90 degree that triangle is called in which one angle is 90 degree that angle is called right angle triangle the next one is student to absolute triangle absolute triangle are those triangle in which one angle is greater than 90 degree let's suppose I have a this triangle and this is 120 degree any triangle in which one angle is greater than 90 is known as obtuse triangle okay student let's we move on the next topic that is a types of quadrilaters the types of quadrilaters are the squares rectangles trapezoids rhombus and pyrogram what is square the first question is what is square the answer is any closed figure which have all four sides are equals and have a 90 degree angle all four sides are equal and have a 90 degree in each next one is student what is rectangle any figure which have two sides opposite side are equals suppose these two sides are equal and these two sides are equals but not all of four are equal this is a rectangle and it also have a 90 degree it should have a 90 degree angle the next one is a trapezoids what is trapezoid trapezoid is a any figure which have two sides are parallel let's suppose these two sides are parallel so this triangle is known as this sorry this quadrilater is known as trapezoids if i have another figure let's suppose this and this one both line are parallel so this figure is known as trapezoids next one question is what is rhombus student the rhombus is a shape in which opposite angle are equal opposite angle are equal let's suppose this angle is if i have this type of the figure this oh, 110 110 and this one is 70 and 70 degree so student these two angles opposite angle are equal and these two opposite angle are equal since both angle are equal so the, the these two angle are acute and these two are obtuse and this type of the triangle is called uh, sorry this type of quadrilaters is called rhombus the rhombus have opposite angle equal in which one angle one set of angle is acute and one set of angle is obtuse it's mean one of that angle is greater than 90 
the last one is a parallelogram. What is parallelogram? The parallelogram is a is a quadrilater, or a polygon, or a polygon that have opposite side are parallel. Opposite side are parallel and equal. If two have the opposite side are parallel, the these two are parallel and these two are parallel and equal. This is known as the parallelogram. Next one is the student the pentagon. Pentagon have the five sides. Let's suppose this is a pentagon and pentagon have five sides. Five sides. Same as the hexagon has six sides. Let's suppose. Octagon have eight side and decagon has ten sides. One another example is student. If anyone uh, ask you a question, that one is what is regular pentagon? The answer is a penta a pentagon in which all sides are equal. If all sides are equal, that is called a regular pentagon. Same as if the all sides, six sides are equal, that is called regular hexagon. This is, uh, you are here to uh, view education, uh, you are on education for all and uh, this is the lecture about polygon. Thank you very much for watching education for all.